I forgot to check that last night. Eh, let's go ahead and rig it. It's probably dry. Probably. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. Oh, some days you think we knew what we were doing. In less time than it takes changing knives on the swather, we changed all the header knives on both Zerns. But that's because they're the nice little pop in, pop out ones. Well, the swather is a bolt, and usually the nuts round it off and becomes a massive pain in the butt. Got the row head hooked up, Zern strapped down to the header trailer, and off we go. So, the last time you guys were with me on Monday, you know, like I was chopping some corn around here, it was too green, got to a field on another farm, almost finished, blah, blah, blah. Well, that was the last dry corn. So I finished that yesterday and then switched feed, kind of marched through four, yeah, four different fields, to finish the day. But for the last two days, Glenn's chopper had been in the shop getting some minor things fixed, no big deal. When we were changing the sharpening stone on mine yesterday, though, we noticed the knives were done. I mean, there was almost nothing left. So I ran this machine until they got Glenn's ready. Mid-afternoon, they brought Glenn's over and I switched out machines. And then Bart and Cameron went crazy. They got the knives done between 2.30 and 5.30, three hours. Changed out the knives, had them retorqued, had a new cutter bar in. It was torqued. The only thing left to do this morning was a few more adjustments. Got it all put together. The only reason it's almost 9.30 and I'm just leaving is because the other stuff we had to do. Oh, yeah, it's been a very productive 24 hours. But now Colton is running Glenn's machine on some of his own ground doing the long hauls down to Carlton, so it's about a close to a 30 mile haul one way, especially where he's at this morning, which is adds another six miles, seven, no, oh, nine miles from here. So it's easily a 30 mile haul for him. I'm gonna go start working on small pits. So there's one guy about 15 miles west of here. He's got 30 acres of corn, 30 acres of feed. We're gonna be knock out both of those. That's why I put my Zern head on the trailer so someone can bring it over to me. From there, I'm gonna go another 10 miles to the west. Apparently, a field another chopper guy was supposed to come and do. The last field he was in, he ran some through his machine and tore it up. So they called us, wanted to know if we'd take care of it so they didn't have to come all the way over. Whatever, we got time, we're gonna make it work. Other than that, I really don't know what the plan is because we're starting to run into green feed. We've got green corn. Ah, it's frustrating. We, as much as I hate the fact that it's 90 degrees here at the end of September, we need it to be to keep these crops drying down. Then to throw a monkey wrench on top of the cattle, the hay, and the silage we're already dealing with, a uh, neighbor called we bought his grain off of. They're going to start picking corn today, so Aaron was getting a grain bin ready. Got to make sure that swing auger is in the right place. Got to make sure all the gates on the floor move. And got to retie down all of our sensors for testing moisture and temperature. And then you got to get the auger hooked up and ready to go, so hopefully that goes good. Not my problem. On the road. All right, finally made it. Decent little field here. I don't believe that's the feed I'm supposed to chop next. It looks a little green. So hopefully the Zern will chop it okay. He just wants a cut, so the moisture doesn't matter like it does going to the feedlots because it's going into his own lot. So that part of it is what it is. It's just whether the header will handle it. Hector, aren't flood fields fun? Ah, dang. Truck's bucking like crazy. Sometimes you can't hit them perfectly square, you hit them just a little angle. And it works the hell out of that suspension. This is why silage trucks need so much TLC over here. Look at that trailer dance. Oh, 
That didn't take long. I guess they don't want us to chop that. So we're going to leave that. Now we're going to try the feed. Glenn just got here with the Zern. Go switch them out. See what we got. Hi, Blanca. Hi. Find the no wave. I was in such a good mood an hour ago. Oh, hour and a half ago. And now I'm ready to smash stuff. So Zern doesn't want to work on this because of the moisture. It will not cut wet feet. I don't care what you do, it will not cut it. These guys just want it done, so we're cutting it. Bouncing around the field has screwed up the computer somehow to where it just randomly kicks on and off for when I'm working and not. I hit areas like this and see, there it goes. Little drum locked up on short feed. Or little drum, big drum. Just wedges in there. So I've got to leave the pile and move it back on. Ah, I'm pissed. But yeah, that's really concerning because do I have a control unit problem, an ECU problem? What's going on there? Uh, I about hit that tractor opening the field, so that was kind of awesome. Just random tractor parked in on the lane, whatever. It's done. It ain't pretty by any means, but it is done. Back to corn. Okay, so that feed field finished that guy's pit. So he has dry corn, wet feed. It's going to make phenomenal silage in the end. Now I'm on a corn field that's going to be real hit and miss. There's places it's in the upper 60s. There's places it's in the low 50s. One time around the outside, which doesn't tell you much, is 58. So far, computer seems to be working. Hopefully. It's okay, honey. We won't go bouncing across rough furrows again till, till the next flood field. So now I'm chopping, I got, it's a little over a half pivot here. It's probably gonna be 70 acres. It's going about three miles over there in them trees to a ranch. Um, talking with tuna whoa hang on sorry that was all weird uh talking to tuna it sounds like there's like 120 acres of corn that's got to go in there where the others are so far i don't know i'm i'm in an area here that i've never been before well not not so good of news Hector just called he's got a bolt broke on one of his axles we tend to go through a handful of them a year you saw the way that trailer was dancing this morning, it did that all day. So I don't know if it happened earlier, just now fell out, or going across the sprinkler tracks broke it. But either way, he's out. It's 4.45, I think I'm just going to have Blanca and Aaron go weigh these loads and call it a day. Because we're dumping a couple miles that way, but we're weighing six miles back that way. So we're only weighing two loads a day for each truck, so, yeah, let me just start calling that, and then I gotta take my chopper home for servicing, so I still have close to an hour drive, so, yay, 4.50, see how long it takes to get home, I'm guessing be 5.43, well, I'm a big dumb moron, it's now 5.45. I was insanely close. But because I'm a moron, I didn't grab the camera. I think it's like 8.39 or 8... Or 8... 5.39 or 5.40 when I pulled up here and unhooked the header. And because I quit chopping earlier than Colton... Man, I got an air compressor that works, so... Sucks to be him. Colton's trying to get his chopper blown off over there. It's the beauty of a one air compressor, two machines that don't work so well. And of course, now that I come over here by the cows, they're being much quieter. Huh. 
I don't even know if you can hear the few that are balling over their compressor. There we go. Now they're back to as loud as they were a minute ago. So Maddie just showed up with semi load from the auction barn. Most of these cattle were probably weaned this morning. Brought to the auction, sold. So we'll give them about a week. They'll figure out what a bunk is. They'll start eating good and be ready to roll. Anywho. There's, there's my chopper ready to go. My head's over here, so it's out of his way. There's my chopper ready to go. Neighbor Chuck trying to make us look bad working after dark. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go home. See how the kids' day at school was. Go kick back and relax with the beverage. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow.